Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to everyone. Okay, so for today, we are going to learn on the application of second ordinary differential equation in electrical circuit. Okay, so let's say you are given different type of circuit. Okay, such as you have uh, RLCC series circuit or maybe RLC parallel circuit or RLC series parallel circuit. So it means that it has a combination of series and parallel circuit. So from here, we are going to model the RLC circuit into the second differential equation. And then, after once we model it, we want to see how to solve the second ODE using the undetermined coefficient. Okay, so this is the one. Uh, I mean, this is the um, uh, learning outcome that we are that we are going to learn um, in this video. Okay, so now let's have a look at the following example for series RLC circuit. Okay, so let's say you are given this circuit. Okay, you have a RLC series circuit with value of uh, supply is ET. The inductor is 1 milli Henry. The resistor is 5 milli ohm and the capacitor is 250 farad. Okay, so the question is, show that the circuit can be modeled as L d squared I over dt squared plus R d I over dt plus I over C equal to E prime T. Okay, so the solution here is... Okay, so since you have a series circuit here, so you need to apply KVL to the circuit. Okay, so usually you need to redraw back the circuit. Okay. So once you redraw it, you need to assume the current flow for the circuit. Okay, so we assume the current flow clockwise. Okay, so once we have the current flow, we just need to put the polarity for each of the elements. Okay, so for the supply, the current flow is from negative to positive side. So that's why here you have negative positive. Okay, for each of the passive element here, inductor, resistor, and capacitor is your passive element. The current flow is from positive to negative side. So, positive, negative VL, positive, negative VR, and positive, negative VC. Okay. So, once we, uh, once we assume for each of the polarity, so we can apply KVL to the circuit. So, according to the Kirchhoff voltage law, total of voltage drop is equal to total of voltage rise. So, for, for voltage drop is VL plus VR plus VC. Okay, VL plus VR plus VC is equal to ET. ET is the voltage rise. Okay, so after that, we need to substitute each of the VL, VR and VC according to its uh, formula. Okay, so for VL is equal to L di over dt. VR is equal to IR. VC is equal to 1 over C integrate I dt, ET. Okay, and then after that, we just differentiate each of the terms with respect T. So, what we have here is L d squared I over dt squared plus R d I over dt plus I over C equal to E prime T. Okay, so based on this, it is shown that the circuit is can be modeled by this ODE. Okay, this term and this term is same, right? Question B. Given that ET is equal to negative 0.01 exponent negative T, Solve the differential equation for the initial conditions when t equal to 0, i is equal to 0, and di over dt is equal to 0. Okay, so the question asks you to solve the differential equation. So, what is the differential equation? So, the differential equation is given by l d squared i over dt squared plus r di over dt plus i over c equal to e prime t. Okay, so this is the differential equation that we need to solve. So, after that, we need to substitute the value of L, R, C, and also e prime t. Okay, so as from the question, L is given by 0 0.01 Henry, R is given by 0 0.05 Ohm, and C is given by 250 Farad. Okay, so how about the value for e prime t? So, as you know from the question, it gives you e t. e t is equal to negative 0 0.01 exponent negative t. So, we differentiate e t, we got e prime t. So, e prime t equal to, uh, when we differentiate exponent e negative, uh, sorry, when we differentiate exponent negative t, we got negative 1 exponent negative t. So, multiply with negative 0 0.01. So, what we got here is 0 0.01 exponent negative t. So, once we have the value of L, R, C and also E prime t, we can substitute accordingly. So, what we have here, 0 0.01 d squared i over dt squared plus 0 0.005 di over dt plus i over 250 equal to 0 0.01 exponent negative t. 
we can simplify this equation by divide each of this each of this term by 0 0.001 okay so here what we got d squared i over dt squared plus 5 d i over dt plus 4 i equal to 10 exponent negative t because here when you divide 0 0.005 with 0 0.001 you got 5 1 over 250 you divide by 0 0.001 you got 4 0 0.01 you divide by 0 0.001 you got 10 so now this is your second order uh, non-homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficient okay so next we need to solve this ODE by using method of undetermined coefficient so uh, let's go step by step okay, step number one based on the non-homogeneous equation we need to cut we, we need to find the complementary function okay so how to do that we need to come up with the non-homogeneous equation first okay so you just uh, change the value of ft to equal to zero so that this is your homogeneous equation so based on your homogeneous equation you come up with the co quadratic equation so the quadratic equation is given by m squared plus 5m plus 4 is equal to 0 so based on your calculator you can solve your quadratic equation so your m is equal to negative 4 and negative 1 okay so this is case number one where your when your m is real number and m1 is not equal to m2 so your uh, y x is equal to a exponent m one x plus b exponent m two x. So based on this, your uh, complementary function i c is equal to a e uh, sorry a exponent negative forty because m one is negative four plus b exponent negative t because your m two is equal to negative one. Okay. So after you once you find your complementary function, you need to find your particular integral. So in this case, particular integral is equal to c exponent negative t. Okay. So because your f t is equal to ten exponent negative t, so that's why your i p is equal to c exponent negative t. Okay. And then you need to compare your i p with your i c. So here you have c exponent negative t. Here you have b exponent negative t. So it consider you have the same pattern so you need to multiply your ip with um, ip with t okay so your new ip is c t exponent negative t and then you need to cross check again your ip and ic so now your ip is no longer equal to ic so you can stop here so this is your final ip Okay, so now your IP is equal to C T exponent negative T. Okay, so you need to find what is the value of C. So in order to do that, you need to differentiate IP two times. Um, so you differentiate IP to get IP prime. So how to differentiate it? You can just use multiple rule. Uh, C T is considered as U. Exponent negative T is considered as V. So you just do, uh, you just perform uh, U dVd T plus v du over dt okay so ip prime is equal to c exponent negative t minus ct exponent negative t differentiate it again to get ip double prime so this is ip double prime so you can further simplify it to get negative 2c exponent t plus ct exponent negative t okay so once you get your ip double prime ip prime and ip you need to substitute into the given ode okay so the ODE is given by IP double prime plus 5 IP prime plus 4 IP equal to 10 exponent negative T. So I just substitute every single uh, equation here into the ODE. So this is my IP double prime. This is IP prime and this is IP. Okay, after that, we can just uh, expand the equation. Uh, sorry, we can just rearrange the equation according to its uh, coefficient. So for a coefficient negative, uh, for coefficient exponent negative t, I have negative two c plus five c here, and then for coefficient t exponent negative t, I have uh, c minus five c plus four c. Okay, so c minus five c plus four c becomes zero. So I can cancel this negative two c plus five c. I have uh, uh, is equal to 3c so 3c exponent negative t equal to 10 exponent negative t so uh, we just uh, equating the coefficient by the by this coefficient so for the coefficient exponent negative t what i have 3c is equal to 10 so c is equal to 10 over 3 
Okay, so finally, uh, you can substitute the value of C into here. So your IP is given by 10 over 3 T exponent negative T. Okay, so finally, the general solution is given by I equal to IC plus IP. So IC is A exponent negative 40 plus B exponent negative T. And then IP is equal to 10 over 3 T exponent negative 3. So negative T. So this is the general solution for the ODE. Okay, so the final step is to in consider the initial conditions. Okay, so in this question, the initial condition is given by when t is equal to 0, i is equal to 0, and when t is equal to 0, i prime is equal to 0. Okay, so from the previous uh, step, we know that the general solution is given by i equal to a exponent negative 40 plus b exponent negative t plus 10 over 3 t exponent negative t. Okay, so we substitute the first initial condition into this equation. So we have i is equal to 0 and t also equal to 0. Okay, so 0 is equal to a plus b. Okay, because here exponent negative 0 is become 1. So exponent negative 0 also become 1. 10 over 3 multiplied with 0 is 0. Okay, so we have 0 equal to a plus b. So a is equal to negative b. Okay, so next we need to consider the second initial conditions. Before we do that, we need to um, differentiate i over t. So we got i prime. So i prime is equal to when you differentiate a exponent negative 40, you uh, you have negative 4 a exponent negative 40. You differentiate b exponent negative t, you have negative b exponent negative t. And 10 over 3 t, you differentiate, you got 10 over 3 exponent negative t. And you differentiate exponent negative t, you have uh, negative 1 multiplied with 10 over 3 t. Exponent negative t. Okay. And then we can just substitute the second initial condition. So when t is equal to 0, t is equal to 0, i prime is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to negative 4 minus b plus uh, z, uh, 10 over 3. Okay, so here we can cancel because uh, it's multiplied with 0. Okay, so and then we just um, rearrange it. So 4a plus b is equal to 10 over 3. Okay, so b is equal to negative a. Okay, so we have here 3a is equal to 10 over 3. So a is equal to 10 over 9. Okay, so uh, once we have the value of a and then we just can find the value of b because b is equal to negative a. So, b is equal to negative 10 over 9. So, finally, we can just substitute the value of a and b into the general solution. Okay. So, the general sol the particular solution is given by a is equal to 10 over 9. So, 10 over 9 exponent negative 40. b is equal to negative 10 over 9 minus 10 over 9 exponent negative t plus 10 over 3 t exponent negative t. Okay, so this is the particular solution for the ODE. Alright, so that's all for the solution for the example. So, thanks for watching.